MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. Yankee baseball starts now. Garrett Cole, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Matt, I'm a big fan of Garrett Cole. Big, strong guy. Former first-round draft pick out of UCLA. 96 to 98 miles an hour with sink. Hard slider. His changeup has gotten better the longer he's pitched. He has a chance to be a no-hit type of pitcher every time he takes the mound. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He will lead this one off today. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Now the pitch. Liner toward right center. But this will be run down out there in the alley. A nice play by the center fielder for the first out. Batting second, the third baseman, Rafael Devers. Now at the plate, Rafael Devers, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. And just a chamber of commerce afternoon for baseball. 82 degrees here at first pitch. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. You know, this is one of the guys behind the dish, Freddie Ferguson, Dan, that the rookies are going to have a tough time with. If you've played in the league for a little bit, you understand that he's got his own zone. I, you touched on it, d -Roy. I think he rewards the veteran players, not only pitchers, but position players. He makes the younger players. He makes them earn their keep. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. He was the winner of the AL Silver Slugger Award at shortstop a season ago. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. 2-0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Ah, he couldn't catch up with the gas that time. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. From the windup, the 2-1 pitch. Hard on the ground toward short. Torres picks it up. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. Sox zero. Yanks coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball, the show. Eduardo Rodriguez gets the ball for the Red Sox in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Eduardo Rodriguez has come a long way in a short period of time. Really needs to command the off-speed pitch as a lefty that brings a big arm and a big power fastball 93 to 96 miles an hour a good assortment of breaking pitches the key for Rodriguez getting ahead with his fastball now with the plate DJ LeMayhew he'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first the pitch first pitch fastball in there for a cold strike That one doesn't even sniff the zone, missing very high. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. 1-1. One, one. 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Bradley. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting second, the center fielder, Brett Gardner. Here's Brett Gardner now. His numbers against Eduardo Rodriguez. He has seven hits in 31 tries. He also has one home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Strike one to start the at bat. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Mm, chased out of the zone there, and he's down two strikes. That's a well placed fastball right there, just off the outside. If you can get guys to expand the strike zone and go after that pitch, you're going to have a lot of success. No luck that time, though. Sent on the ground out to second. On to Moreland, and that's in time for the second out. That is third. Not good stop. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Pitch on the way. Way behind that pitch, it's 0-1. And this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. Into the wind, the 0-1. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Your eyes light up from the offensive side playing in a hitter's park play. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. We are still scoreless. Here's J.D. Martinez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. J.D. Martinez. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Oh, good knuckle curve, 0 and 2. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. That is good. In now, Mitch Moreland. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. And here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there. It's ball one. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Two and one to the Red Sox first baseman. No score here as we play inning number two. Three balls and a strike to count to Moreland. The three one. He loses him on ball four. That is good. The second baseman, Michael. Now to the plate, Michael Chavis. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go ahead score. Double play is in order, however. From the stretch, here's the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Moreland stands at first with one out. Hit in the air down the right field line. Right fielder is on the run, but this will land untouched. A 
Working for the punch out and the offering. That misses one and two. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And it's one and one. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Fouled away. And look at this high in the air and deep and when this ball comes down they'll have taken the lead home run a two run blast to straight away right field as it's now a two nothing ball game. You don't see this very often off of this starting pitcher. This guy's not used to giving up some bombs, so I'm sure that'll be a wake-up call, and he'll start throwing some better pitches. At the plate now, Christian Vasquez. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1 0. Hey. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Now the one and one pitch. to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. They try to come in with a fastball, but it's too far in, and it's even at 2 and 2. Tough to take a pitch like that right there, especially in a 1 2 count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3 and 2. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. Got him swinging in the dirt. And that ends the inning. For the Red Sox strike for two on the two-run homer. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now 2-0 Boston. Leading off the inning, Gary Sanchez. And they'll need him to get something going here. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. First pitch of the at bat. At the ball. Ball one, no strike.
The 1 0 delivery. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. Here's the pitch. A swing by Sanchez, and this one soaring out into left field. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo shot here to left as they cut the lead in half it's two to one now hey listen there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you this is one of the top hitters in that lineup so a home run a solo home run right here is not the end of the world Standing in now, Luke Voigt. A ball of no strikes. No outs, nobody on. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases throw into second and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit when it left his bat I thought it might squirt foul but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner thought it might be a little bit closer play at second but he cruised in there with relative ease And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. Nope. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. And it's fouled away. Andujar stands at an even six feet tall, a right-handed batter and thrower. He's in his third season as a major league player. Two and one. No one out with a runner at second. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. As a look, now the pitch. Now a changeup locks him up as he looks at strike three called, one away. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it, so it's a backwards K for him. At the plate, Mike Tuckman as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Set. Here's the 0-1. Here's his swing and a ball hit into the air to left center and shallow. Benintendi comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Batting it. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. 
Now at the plate, Gio Urshela, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch on its way. And here's a fastball called for strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he takes a cold strike up and out over the plate. 0 and 2. Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. Last chance for the Yankees. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Red Sox took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Eduardo Rodriguez is the winning pitcher of record. Garrett Cole only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Boston Red Sox. Two runs on just one base hit, no errors, and they left no runners on base. For the Yankees, one run on two hits, no errors, and they left one man on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 42 minutes. Our paid attendance at Yankee Stadium this afternoon, 47,309. The Yankees at Red Sox thank you for your patronage and remind you to...